Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the second prototype of ring bracelet. As you uh, recall from the first prototype, this is a puzzle ring that can be transformed into a bracelet. And that concept was originally uh, an idea by uh, Karl Hoff. So this is the second version that I made. And the problem with the first version was that it was not sufficiently robust. So I made this one more robust by introducing a third layer. So usually uh, the weave of puzzle rings has only two layers. And when you look here in uh, close up, you see that there are actually three layers and that the rings are going over and under each other uh, in various ways. And the advantage of having the three layers is, as, as I said, the robustness. When you look at the inside, you see that I can make some parts uh, wider and that makes it stronger while still keeping the ring as a whole uh, of limited size. So the ring has a total of uh, 10 bands. And unlike most puzzle rings, this one doesn't scramble when you just throw it uh, down. Uh, instead, um, this makes it very stable. Uh, the first move is you take actually the third ring and you move it out and even then it's quite stable. You can do it from the other side as well. Uh, also here, let's take out the third ring and now we can take it uh, apart uh, uh, a ring at a time. And after taking it fully apart, here we have the bracelet. So let me see whether I can wear this bracelet. And yes, it tightly fits around my hand. Obviously, I'm not the person to uh, wear bracelets, but uh, it's just to show you that the concept works and that I have a ring um, and I turn it into a bracelet. My question to you about this puzzle is the fact that uh, unlike all other puzzle rings, it uses three layers of uh, weaving things over each other. And my question to you is, how can you make that useful in other types of puzzle rings? Thank you for watching.